Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news from Shuruq TV. Today's stories include... Hamadok calls for radical solutions to incidents in Kassel and Darfur. Saudi Arabia retrades support to Sudan's removal from U.S. terror blacklist. Security and Defense Council reviews health and security conditions in the country. Prime Minister Dr. Abdullah Hamadok stressed that the tribal conflict took place in Kassala, South Darfur and other parts of the country requires a radical treatment that would achieve comprehensive peace, including the appointment of civilian governors and the establishment of judicial accountability mechanisms for dealing with the incidents. Hamadok described the incidents in Kassala during the past two days as regrettable, pointing to occurrence of incidents in extension to incidents that took place in other parts of Sudan in which dear and precious lives of Sudanese people were lost, Hamadok indicated. He added that we affirm the country is passing a pivotal stage that requires everyone to have a sincere national spirit, solidarity, and to renounce division, regionalism, and tribalism, and spread the spirit of peace and tolerance. Saudi Arabia has renewed its pledge to support Sudan's efforts to remove its designation as a state sponsor of terrorism. According to the Saudi press agency SPA, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, the chairman of the Transitional Sovereign Council, spoke with the Saudi Prince Crown Mohammed bin Sultan on Monday evening. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, confirmed that the kingdom will continue its efforts to remove the name of Sudan from the list of countries that sponsor terrorism, said the official agency. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has commended the efforts of the European Union and its support for the Sudanese people through their encouragement via Friends of Sudan Group for the promotion and reform of the Sudan's economy in all fields. In celebration of European Day, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs issued a press release expressing appreciation for the high-level visits of the EU officials made in the past period for strengthening the relationship with Sudan, noting to the most recent visit of the High Commissioner for Security and Foreign Policy, Mr. Giuseppe Porel. The Foreign Ministry has congratulated the member states of the EU on this occasion. The Chairman of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Lieutenant General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, received a phone call from the Ethiopian Prime Minister, Abe Ahmed. The two sides discussed the developing relations between the two countries and means for enhancing them further, especially in the economic fields, as well as the regional and international issues of common concern. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced on Monday the registration of 161 new cases of coronavirus in addition to four deaths. The new case is registered in the states of Khartoum, 100 cases, North Kurdufan, 20, Al Ghadarif, 12, Al Jazeera, 9, Sinar, 7, including two new cases and five cases from yesterday, Sunday. Kassala, 5, White Nile, 2, West Darfur, 2, and one case in each of the states of Central Darfur, River Nile, Red Sea, and South Darfur. The newly registered cases of infection with coronavirus brings the total number of cases since the beginning of the pandemic in Sudan to 1,526 cases, including 74 deaths. The Security and Defense Council held a meeting in which it reviewed the security situation in the country, the current security incidents, and tribal conflicts. The Council reviewed the issues in a new vision that addresses the root causes of the problem and resolves all negative developments through the rule of law and extending the prestige of the state, along with application of principle of responsibility, accountability, and to be benefit from the role of traditional administrations. The Minister of the Interior, the Rapporteur of the Council, Lieutenant General Police, Abdurif Idris, said in a press statement that the meeting has commended the role of the White Army and the Security Forces organs in dealing with the recent health and security events in the country. The forces of national consensus have called for the effective implementation of the comprehensive ban and health measures to bring the country on shore of health and recovery. In a statement issued Tuesday, the forces of national consensus commended role of the medical cadres and their steadfastness in fulfilling their duty despite the scarcity of capabilities. 
The statement also praised the steadfastness of the citizens who depend for their livelihood on a daily work, stressing that this situation imposed by the urgent necessity for the protection of people's lives. The Sudanese Professionals Association elected a new secretariat. The newly chosen secretariat was democratically elected by the Association's Council that has approved the reconstruction of the Association and the nomination of new delegates to the Central Council and the coordinative organ of the Forces of Freedom and Change. The SPA said that these steps come within the framework of its continuous work in the Association to review and develop performance in response to the substantive demands of the association's bodies and in response to the calls of revolutionaries to take serious steps to pump new blood in order to revive the SPA's work and confirm its role and position are at the heart of the citizens' movement and demands. The SPIA has indicated it enters a new stage through which it strengthens its commitment to its trade union and political roles related to the completion of the transitional period's tasks. The Rapid Support Forces announced the arrest of 41 cases of impersonization of officers and staff officers of its forces in the period from late April to 10th of May, indicating that most of the cases are due to economic hardship or the purpose of obtaining petroleum materials. The RSF indicated that impersonators work for obtaining large shares of fuel in the barrels loaded on cars by entering the stations in the form of the RSF without restricting organization procedures, noting that these actions distort the image of the forces and raise discontent against them by the citizens. The RSF indicated in a press statement that there are others who deal in buying and selling drugs, some ammunition and others extorting citizens, noting that the seized cases were all in the localities of Khartoum State. And now we remind you with the headlines. Hamadok calls for radical solutions to incidents in Kassala and Darfur. Saudi Arabia reiterates support to Sudan's removal from U.S. terror blacklist. Security and Defense Council reviews security and health conditions in the country. That was everything for tonight from Shuruk TV. See you next time.